The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Classic Central A&T game. Um, we fell short. Too many self-inflicted wounds. You know, it's, it's, it's still repetitive. It's still redundant, um, the issues. But, you know, we have trouble finishing. And, and you know, we, I, I just told our guys, you know, once we're in that situation, you have to close it out with solid fundamental basketball. We're, we're, doing, we're having too many self-inflicted wounds. We, we're stepping up. We're missing free throws, the front end of one-and-ones. Um, you know, we missed a box-out responsibility at the free throw line. And we had two travel calls, and they called the offensive foul. I don't, I don't know where that come from, but, you know, we, we just got to be do a better job of closing bas basketball games. And that's the inexperience. That go back to the um, initial part of the year where I told you someone has to step up. Someone has to lead on the floor the last three, four minutes of the game. Yeah, I think so. We missed we missed two critical box outs. Um, you know, they we, we had a huge traveling call. We had two travel calls in a row. Um, you know, they're in the zone. We're traveling, so you know, it's nothing they did to initiate or make us travel. We we I don't know why we did it. Um, we missed a critical box out, and even going back to the six minute mark, we're up seven. And we didn't we didn't close the game like we should. Um, you know, we had some critical rebounds where we allowed them to steal the basketball and, you know, get get some momentum. So, you know, we just got to go back to work, man. There's no no time for a pity party or anything. No one's going to feel sorry for us. And uh, we just got to get better. Yeah, it's more than three. Um, we, we just got to grow up, man. <laughs> we got to grow up in a hurry. That's all to it. Whenever, you know, it's nip and tuck at the end, man, it's, it's gonna, always going to come down to leadership, and it's always going to be toughness, and it's always going to be the will. Nothing sexy or exotic is going to happen down here. It's going to come with a loose ball, a free throw, a rebound, something, a toughness play, and, and we fell short in that category this year, and we got to get ourselves back on track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're, we're searching for answers. We, we need, you know, I, I guess my point guard play in years past, I've been spoiled. You know, I had some closures out there. And that's, you know, it's not just the point guard position, but obviously it starts with the point guard position. And we got to have a, we ha got to do better with the closing of the of, of scenarios in, in late game situations. So I'm definitely going to give him an opportunity. He had a good couple of weeks of practice. And, and normally it takes freshmen a, a, a bit to get going and hit their stride. And, you know, hopefully he earned some confidence from this 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 game and he can carry that over. But we, we got to get better. One thing I've noticed, I guess, in the past, you know, you've always had like a consistent knockdown shooter. Um, but it doesn't seem like you have that. Am I doing that or am I? Well, we got it. Rashawn just, I mean, he was <laughs> he was two for 15 today. He got to knock down shots. He, he's a great shooter. We got nothing but confidence in him uh, to knock down shots. So, um, you know, anytime he has to green light whenever he squares feet and, and get a good look at the basket, he has, a, he has to green light to knock it down. The huge one was the critical one in the corner where I thought it was good, but it went out. So... You know, that would have been huge, but, you know, such is life, man. That's Sometimes the ball go in, sometimes the ball go out, but it's, it's the intangibles throughout the game that you got to control. You got to control your controllables, and we didn't do a very good job of closing. Well, now uh, it's never too late. As long as we have games, as long as we have practice, um, you know, we have opportunity to improve it, and, and we're going to continue to fight to do that. That's just in our DNA. That's what we're made of. Um, you know, I told him adversity introduces a man to himself. You know, so everyone, you know, it's tough for those kids in that locker room because they came in with uh, a mountain full of expectations that they probably didn't deserve. I, I think I mentioned that earlier before. And they need to just relax and have fun. Um, I think they're trying to uphold the standard of North Carolina Central basketball, and maybe they get a little tight 
you know, throughout the closing minutes. I, I don't know. Um, but we're a no excuse basketball team and we'll come in tomorrow and we'll go back to work and try to close it. You know, we watch a bunch of film, um, but we have to do a better job. And when I say self-inflicted wounds, it's things that you guys probably don't notice that we work on every single day. But in late clock situations where we're switching everything and the point guard, Abdullah, I think he hit three threes with the clock running down. And our big man is, is, is guarding him, and as soon as he pulls up, our big man continue to run instead of contesting the shot. And I, I don't understand that. Um, we work on that every single day in practice, but obviously we don't work on it enough, so I'm going to take responsibility. We're going to go back and get better. I don't pay attention to it. You know, it's, it's, this game is for the fans. You know, I'm, I'm upset because this game was the most important game because it was this game. You know, we don't, I'm upset after every loss. You know, this game is for bragging rights for the fans and you know, they don't like us, we don't like them. Everybody knows that, but you know, I'm not, I'm not celebrating anymore if we beat a &T than if we beat any other opponent. So I, I, don't, I don't keep up with that stuff. I don't read any articles. I don't look at anything about our team during the year because I don't want any distractions. I just stay focused, uh, win, lose, or draw, and then we just got to go back and get better. Um, once again, self-inflicted wounds. Um, if you would have seen his practices the last two days, you know, and that, those are the learning lessons th these, these guys got to have. Preparation, you're not a light switch. You can't go through the motions in two days in practice and come out here with these bright lights and just flip it on. It don't happen like that. Now, your coach have told you several times, but you want to try the opposite way, you know, that's, that's a bad thing. So I think everybody played indicative of their practices the last several days. And that's what I mean by self-inflicted wounds. It ain't necessary game, it's, it's, all a, it's all preparation. They gotta come with the mental focus to bring it every single day. And right now, that's the difference with this team and teams of the past. Those kids bought it every single day. So now they created what, what I call a good energy, a good karma for themselves. But you can't, even as a player, I, I tried that one time. I tried to beat the system one time and I had the worst game of my life and I said never again. So I tried to share those experiences with our guys and, you know, they just got to take heed to it and we got to get better. So, I mean, what, what's not cooking with these guys? Um, no, I thought, we, I thought we played decent. We just didn't finish. You know, you, it can click all you want, but you got to finish the game. <laughs> you got to finish it. The four or five minute mark, you got to finish it. You got to get stops and you got to score. Score, stop, score. It's that simple. Basketball is not a hard game. So it's clicking. It's just not clicking the last four or five minutes right now. And that's what we have to do. But, you know, everyone look at a basketball game and point to the end of, end of the half or overtimes. No, those plays at the first, second, and third minute mark of the game to start the game, they're just as important as plays towards the end of the game. You know, everyone highlight and put more of an emphasis on the plays towards the end of the game, but, you know, we just, it's tough, man. You, you, our seniors got to step up. You know, they got to lead. They, we, can, we need leadership out there on that floor. I can talk all day in the huddle, but we got to, we got to get going. You know, and I told them, it's no, it's, it's no more just hoping someone take a bullet for you. We prepare these guys to be young men, and I'm up front with them at all times and now you got to have a sense of urgency if you are a senior you have to step up you got to be the first one on the floor you got to be you got to get critical defensive rebounds and I told them every team is always going to be indicative of the senior leadership so our seniors have to play better I put the onus on them uh, because they've been here they've been in these battles they've been in these wars and you know we just got to be better collectively as a coaching staff we got to get better we're not we're not good enough obviously you know this is a tough game you know uh I think this was our first overtime game here, and uh, you know we got to do a better job of closing teams out. You know, coach emphasized, you know, we haven't earned the right to win, and you know, it starts with how we shoot around, how we warm up, and we just got to do a better job. I was definitely expecting a fan base. You know, our fans definitely helped us out. 
uh, expecting, you know, for them to play hard. You know, coach emphasizes that they, every team is going to come and play their hardest against us just because of the culture we've built here. So I was definitely expecting that. And, uh, yeah. I feel like this season has kind of become a season of first, you know, first time in a game team for you guys here in a while, first time, like, Hampton won here and that kind of thing. Does, does that, do you guys think about that at all? No, definitely not. But, uh, you know, it, we, we just got to start closing games. I think that's really what it is. Uh, we, have, we, we have the talent to beat, you know, any team. You know, Coach says we're probably more talented than any team that he's had. But uh, we got to – we just got to start closing games. Is it a matter of not clicking? Or, or what is it that's kind of holding you back from closing games? Uh, I think it's just the little things. You know, uh, you know we missed uh, – you know, we had a – they had an offensive rebound in the, in the overtime. That was really key. It's just little things, you know, and uh, – we got to be more focused and tuned and stop, uh, you know, getting someone to the crowd. And, you know, when we make a big play, you know, we got to stay focused on the game. At what point, you know, if you're, if you're struggling with these little things so far into the season, at what point does it become too late at any point to correct them? Or what do you kind of do to fix them with, you know, you're more than halfway to the year? Um, I think make finish the season out, uh, get some wins. You know, we still have the MEAC tournament. Um, but, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Just listening to coach, uh, getting stops, um, you know, executing, uh, rebounding. You know, I think they they uh, out rebounded us by like six or seven, but when we rebounded and we got out and ran, you know, things went well for us. You had 13 rebounds, played almost 40 minutes. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Is this one of the best games you feel like you've played? Um. You know, I think I could have done better. Uh, it was, I think it was a good game rebounding wise, but you know, I still gotta, you know, do the little things like, uh, you know, guarding their best player and things like that. So, I think it was a good game. Seems like you're playing more aggressive in the last couple games. Has anything changed for you, or what's kind of led to that? No, I'm just getting more comfortable. You know, I think that's really what it was. You know, I've never really played uh, at this this type of level in my college career, and coach has been giving me the opportunity, and just it's just. Just getting out there and just, you know, after I get up and down a couple times, I get more comfortable and I just forget about everything and I'll, I can play. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It was a tough game. Both teams played hard. We just got to find ways to win and be poised under the stretch. And in winning time, we got to be able to execute and win the game. Just, uh, a lot of energy. I know how the the A and T Central game is always. They showed us film, and I just was excited from the jump. So I was just willing to come out aggressive and just feed into the energy, and hopefully it come out like good for my team. When you were being recruited, did you come to any of these games or anything? Or was this your first one? Right? Uh, yeah, this is my first A and T Central game. I came to the Delaware State game. I was on uh, ESPN, but that, I mean that was kind of the same atmosphere. But I mean. It's nothing like nothing like playing in it, so it was a good experience. It seems like you've been getting more playing time the last couple games after you know sitting on the bench for long stretches of time. What kind of change to, to get you worked in the lineup and to play? I think you had what 19 minutes to me? Yeah, I just I just was trying to be aggressive every day in practice, and it worked out good for me because I've been winning in practice. So I mean, when you win in practice, you win in the game. Well, you play good in the game, so. And coach notices that, and he he just been playing me, so he trusts me now. I got, I'm getting coach's trust, and that's always a good thing. So he decided to play me more, and and that's always good. How much stronger are you guys as a unit with having both you and Devon that can get a point, Pat sometimes, and come in? And that's the thing. We would think that we were we are a very strong team. Like it's hard for to guard us. So I mean it. it I mean it is hard to guard us. So we just gotta know that and execute like that, thinking that. Couldn't nobody stay in front of me, Juan and Pat. That's a handful already. So we just got to notice that and, and play like that every day. Like we do in practice, we got to play like that in the game. You guys have all kind of mentioned struggling to close out the game. What, what has to happen to be able to, 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 to close out a game and to get a win? What, what do you guys need to do? Just, I think it's just staying poised and under the stretch. Like we, I th it seems like we get a little tense mm -hmm. and Everybody be scared to make a play. Not scared, but like not one person stepping up to make that that play. And that, and it's nothing that had to be that basket. It could be a stop on defense or 
a rebound or a block shot or a steal. It could be just that 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 stop to get the spark going and get the confidence flowing, and then we can execute freely and think freely so we can score and get stops. So just poise and just staying under control under under um, winning time is the biggest thing for us. Does that come from an experience still in playing together or an experience in winning those close games? Because y'all have lost a lot of buzzer beaters. Is it something in there? Like I said, I think it's just executing, just being, just being poised. I think it's just executing when in them tough in them tough times like when we're down one down three and we need like a stop or a play or we up one or up three just being able to just finish the game and control the tempo of the game and i think that's the our just our biggest factor so just controlling tempo and being poised under winning in winning time you guys been in the second half up one on Dante's free throws mm -hmm. like most or? definitely definitely i thought we was just going to uh, build off that and stretch the lead um, so, but things happen and uh, people react. We got to react better to when things don't go our way also and winning time. So we got to, um, when teams counter, like the way we didn't think, like a play will work, we got to know how to react off that and execute something else and, and get stops on defense. That's the most thing. Like if a team doesn't score, they don't win. So we really got to just execute on the def defensive end. That's our biggest point. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.